Hey everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin. Today I'm going to show you how to make carnitas. Now carnitas are uh, pork that has been cooked on the stove. We're going to cook it for about three hours and get it nice and tender with some spices and different things I'll show you later. And then we're going to broil it in the oven to get that crispiness that we all associate with carnitas. Now you can serve this up many different ways. You can put it in burritos, enchiladas, or just eat it straight up. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put together some nice little tacos and top it with some fresh guac guacamole and uh, some salsa. So I'll show you how to do it right after this. Let me go over the ingredients so we can get started. So we're going to need some pork shoulder. You're gonna need somewhere between three and a half and four pounds. Mine's uh, three and a half pounds and it's boneless. We need some orange juice, some Coke, a little bit of uh, red wine, some salt. I have some chili powder. Here's some minced garlic, a little bit of cumin. Here I have a little bay leaf and some cilantro and that's all we'll need. Oops, and I almost forgot to mention some whole milk. We'll need that as well. So the first thing we want to do is cut up our pork. So I'm going to remove the, the strings here first. And you're going to want to cut off some of the excess fat, like some of this here. But you want to leave some of the fat on there because that's where you get all the flavor and um, it, it just makes your meat really tender because it has time to cook in, in the fat. So what I want to do here is just cut this into chunks say, you know, an inch, you know, something like this. That's perfect. And then I'm just going to toss them in my pan over here. And like I said, for something like this, I'm going to cut off some of that fat just because it's a little excessive. And when I get done cutting this up, I'll come back and show you uh, our next step. Now that we have the pork all cut up into nice chunks, as you can see here, we're going to add all of our ingredients except for the milk and the Coca-Cola. I'm going to start off with the orange juice and the red wine. And we'll put the salt in there. Chili powder. The cumin. The garlic, the minced garlic. The bay leaf and the cilantro. Now if you don't like cilantro and some people either love it or they hate it, you can leave it out or you can substitute parsley for it, would be nice. So that's up to you. So we want to combine this, stir everything up, and I'm going to add, I want you to add a little bit of water to this just so that we've covered the pork a, a little bit more. We want to make sure we have enough liquid in there so that it doesn't um, boil away. So now we're going to place this on the stove. I've got the, the heat up to high. I want to bring this to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to simmer, partially cover it like this, and let it simmer for two and a half to three hours. The pork has been simmering now for just about three hours, and now it's time to add the milk. So that's all we're going to do here is we're going to add the milk. Now we're going to bring this back up to a boil. So I'm going to turn up the heat. Get it back up and then we're going to simmer it again for about another 15 to 20 minutes. Another 15 minutes have passed and now it's time to add the Coca-Cola. So now we'll just pour that in and this is going to help to um, caramelize the sugars when we broil it and, and give us that nice little crispy texture that we're looking for. So again we're going to let this simmer for another 15 minutes and then we'll move on to our next step. So our Pork is done, and so now what we want to do is I have a nice roasting pan right here, and I have my oven preheating over there on broil. So we're going to take the pork, and we're going to lay it into the roasting pan. And once I get it in there, I'm going to shred it up. And I want to keep this pretty much in a single layer so that when we put it under the broiler, it's going to caramelize and crisp up all of the meat. So we don't want to pile it up. It's breaking apart very nicely just by me oops, pushing it down with the spoon. So I should be able to get all of this in this one pan. If you were cooking in, you know, a double dose, let's say a double batch, let's get that bay leaf, bay leaf out of there. 
and uh, if, so if you were doing a double batch you might have to do two batches of this. All right, so now that we got all the meat in here, we're gonna reserve this sauce because it's really delicious. So I'm gonna set that aside. And like I said, we'll just take a couple forks and kind of spread out the meat a little bit. And then it'll go right in the oven at under the broiler for about, you know, 10, maybe 15 minutes. We'll see. However long it takes to get it a little crispy and then we might turn it over halfway through. So when we put this in our oven, you want to put it low in the oven with you know quite a distance between the element the heating element and the meat that way it will caramelize and brown the meat more evenly instead of just getting it really hot and getting the tips so we'll leave it just like that we'll check back with it in 10 15 minutes our pork is done our carnitas and i want you to see here how it, it got crispy and I turned it over about after 10 minutes, I flipped it over to the other side so that it would get crispy as well. And what I like to do is the sauce over here is I like to add this back into my carnitas and just sprinkle some around. It makes it nice and moist. And of course it has all that great flavor in it. So I'm gonna do that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make a little taco. So I've heated up some corn tortillas and you have a couple options with that. You can either put it in the microwave or you can do as I did and I put it on the stove just directly over the flame and then put them in my tortilla oven. I love these things. They're great. I don't know what I'd do without them. So here we go. I'm going to scoop up some of my pork. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Much as you want. And then, of course, I've got some homemade guacamole. And I've got a link for you. I'll leave a link right over here for you so you can uh, go over there and make that if you like. Put a little salsa on this. Now, this one is not homemade. I went ahead and bought this one. I'll put a little salsa in there. And then, of course, top it off with the guacamole. And you are good to go. This is delicious. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending time with me today. I'm going to go ahead now and take a little bite. Guys, I hope you'll try this recipe. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and share this with your friends on your social media favorite. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.